Did somebody say encore? You asked for it. What it do, Big Blue? Hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody's healthy. I know this is a really hard time for us, especially the seniors, um, but I think we got to keep in mind it's not just Mooresville. It's the whole world. It's a global pandemic. And with that being said, I thought it would be cool to call some old friends of Mooresville High School just to see how they're dealing with this in uh, different places throughout the world, just to get a different perspective. Sup, everybody? It's Victor Nordell here, exchange student from Sweden from two years ago. I got a text from my guy Troy McNasty and he wanted me to talk about how the coronavirus is affecting us here in Sweden. And just as you guys, I'm stuck at home with my school. Uh, the government doesn't really have much regulations that we have to stay at home, but they want us to do our part and stay at home as much as possible, which I am trying to do. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you all stay safe and uh, take care of each other and I miss y'all. Bye. Hello from Germany. I'm going to tell you something about the current coronavirus situation in my country. So it's a lockdown, you're allowed to go outside with one other person or your family members. But um, I've been at home for about three weeks now and I'm <laughs> going to stay at home for two more weeks because we have Easter holidays. The government said that we can go back to school afterwards but I don't think that this is going to happen. Um, in school we don't have online classes, we have like we get a plan every week with exercises and homework and then we have to send them back to the teacher. What I miss most are my friends and um, also my sports. I can't play in a club anymore. I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how to make a protective face mask to protect yourself from the coronavirus. When you finish, it should look something like this. Materials you'll need. Bandana. Two hair ties. Guys, I forgot to mention, you can buy small filters. You can buy, you know, big ones, cut them up, and make them big enough just to cover the um, nose and mouth there. You fold it this way. When you're folding it like this, when you make this fold right here, you can lay the filter down so that you can take extra precautions to protect yourself. And then you'll take your two little rubber bands, and you'll stick your rubber bands on there. Then you'll fold it in on one side. You're going to take one side and you're going to open up the other side and stick it in there as good as you can get it. Now you have your finished product. Stay safe from the corona. How's it hanging, Blue Devils? It's your boy, the Vanilla Gorilla, also known as the one time host of the Student Stop. And the one-time host of the student spotlight, and I'm chilling here with my girl Meep. Hi, Meep don't like me. And today we're doing an episode of MHS Cribs, and today we're looking at the house of Stefan Stith. These are the two best chairs in the house. Two wheelchairs. Don't ask me where I got them. Um, <laughs> this is my garage. And I do not keep cars in this garage, never have. There's the, dr the house drum kit, which you might be able to see with our band's logo on the kick drum head. Our lead guitarist sets up shop when he comes to practice. And that wall right there, some of my vinyl from high school days. I even have an old lava lamp from the 60s that's grooving and that's kind of my shrine to one of my favorite musicians the former lead guitarist of the grateful dead jerry garcia i like the grateful dead a lot um red hot chili peppers pearl jam up there from golly early 90s bob marley etc so this is kind of you know the music room i got a uh, I spend a lot of time in my backyard here, obviously more when my pool's uncovered. Vegetable garden planted over there, but here's 
two of my hives. These are called top bar hives, and I'm going to get, I'm about two feet away from the entrance. Can you see the bees going in and out? Honestly, his house is pretty chill. I'd probably say on the height meter, we'd give him like a solid cool stepdad out of 10, you know? He's got that weird stuff that the kids would find cool and stuff he can talk about at the family gathering, so. All right, tune in next episode where the ratings get even weirder. And again, we are glad that you can join us. Submit videos if you're playing sports at home, or if you're a senior, submit some videos giving advice to the juniors. Teachers, please send us your clips if you're willing to participate in any of our antics. Send us a message on Instagram of ideas that you want to see on the show.